In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you three very basic tips for how to draw an animal. That when you look at a drawing, you can think, oh, you know, it's so complicated, I could never do that. And yet, when it's broken down into very simple steps, you too can draw things that look fantastic. So I invite you to get your pencil and your paper and your enthusiasm, and we're going to get drawing. My name is Andrea Tori Balsara. I'm an author and illustrator, and I'm also an energy medicine practitioner. But in this video, I'm going to be wearing my illustrator hat. So let's get started. Thank you to everyone who took part in the poll on what animal we were going to do a drawing demo on. And the results are in, and we're going to do one on a porcupine. So before we get started, it's important that you warm up your hand. Now, normally I would do this on a piece of paper because it's a little bit harder for me on a tablet, but I wanted to be able to share this video, and this was the easiest way to do it. So a really quick warm up is to draw eggs, and you can draw them clockwise. and you can draw them counterclockwise. And try to keep your arm loose. Okay. Now you can keep doing that until your arm and your hand are kind of feeling loose and, and kind of responsive to what you want to do. Another thing that I do if I'm feeling discombobulated and like things aren't really flowing for me, I draw a figure eight over and over and it really does help to calm anxiety. It helps uh, you to be able to focus more. So this is great if you're having to study and in this case if you're trying to draw an animal. All right, so those are two great warm-ups. Let's get started on what we were going to do here. So let me get that. So here is a really, really cute little fellow. And uh, there are three things I'm going to talk to you about in this video, but I am going to be making a PDF that is going to have much more detail. And so in here, these are just like the very, very first things that you would do to start drawing. And the first thing I would do is I would look at the action line. So what that is, is it's the line of movement, basically. So in this case, you have, you can see that, you can see that the porcupine is kind of leaning a little bit. It's not just uh, up and down. So when we draw, we're going to keep that in mind. So a quick example of an action line is, let's say you have a snow, a snow person, and there, I think. So action line, straight up and down. If you want to show that snow person running, I'll throw in a few legs, a few arms, and suddenly you have, you have the illusion of movement. So that's what the action line does. It allows us to create the illusion of movement two-dimensionally, you know, we're drawing on a piece of flat paper, but it allows us to create that illusion. So that's the first thing we're looking at is the action line. The next thing we're looking at are shapes. Now we're looking for circles, egg shape, ooh, geez, that's not an egg shape, okay, egg shape, or can be an upside, you know, like an egg on, this, on its end, uh, you can look for rectangles. You can look for a peanut shape. That's actually very common in animals to have kind of a peanut shape. So when you, we look at this image over here of the porcupine, you want to look at it in terms of shapes. I'm going to take those out. And now I'm going to use red so that you can see what I'm doing here. So the, 
first thing I'm doing is I'm just trying to get that simple shape. And you can see, here's the action line. So now I'm going to stack the shapes along that action line. So here is the shape of the head. Here is the nose. And you can see that nose is kind of oblong. And if we're measuring halfway down, you can see that's where the nostrils are. Now that action line creates an angle to the way the eyes are seen. So now we can start to map out where things line up and how they line up. So now let's go over here and we're going to try to do that same thing. Now I'm going to use a light gray pencil and I would advise you to do the same because if you're just sketching you don't want something that's hard to erase. You don't want to like stain your paper and be stuck with marks that maybe you don't want to have on your paper. So let's get these shapes out of there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we had an action line. So I'm just going to draw that action line. And now I have the U that's upside down. And following this action line now, I have the head. And now at the bottom of this circle, you can see the muzzle is there. And slightly goes off of the circle, doesn't it? Like you can see that here, the muzzle is slightly larger than the circle of the head. So we're going to make sure that that's large enough. And halfway down, I'm going to put in my, my muzzle. And I'm just going to check my angles here. I think there might be a little, a few issues with my angles. So I'm just going to go over here and yep. So I had a few issues there. Okay. And here, I'm going to check that angle. Okay. And now I've got the angle for the eyes. And I've got the little eyes there. Oops, my dog is wanting to be part of this, I guess. Okay, so there we go. And you can see he's got a little bit of chin, chin action there. So we're going to come down below. Sorry, guys, that is Leo. Hello, Leo. All right. So we've gotten our basic shapes. We've got our action line. And you know what? When you look at that, you'd be like, wow, that is, that is rough. Okay? And you would be right. But these are just guides. That's all they are. And so now you go back in and you start, you know, you start drawing. So I would start putting in my, just roughing in the, the lights and the darks, you know, the contrast. <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. So we're still using a really light pencil here. So we're just going to quickly map out the, the lights and the darks. It's actually what creates the illusion of, uh, of, of reality, actually, if you have high contrast. So um, like around this area, you can see there's a lot of shadow around the eyes. The shadow, the light, and the dark, they create the, the illusion of, of reality. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to work on this for a little while. and. 
when I come back, it's going to look a little more finished. I will have erased some of these guidelines and then we will do the last part of the video together. So as you can see, I worked a little bit on this image. It took me about an hour and I left it for a day so that any issues that I had with it would be more clearly seen to me. Sometimes when you're right in the middle of working on something, you can't see some very glaring mistakes. So I stepped away for a day and I'm back. And for the last part of this video, I'm going to be talking about focal point. So where do you want your viewer's eyes to focus? In that area, you're going to want to have greater detail and the highest contrast of light and dark. So I'll just give you an illustration of this and I won't have time to do everything that I would normally do um, to create something that looks polished, but I'll give you an idea of, of where I would go with this right now. So I would start with creating a higher contrast around the eyes because that's where I want the focus to be. I want them to be around the, the eyes of the porcupine. I want the eyes to feel alive. So I would come over here and you know if you're using a pencil, if you've started with sketching you're going to want to use something like an HB pencil. When you're putting in this level of dark uh, color you might want to use a, a 6, a 6B. Um, you can also use things like charcoal pencils and one of the great things about using charcoal is that you can also then use a, a white charcoal, I don't, I don't know if it's charcoal, but a white pencil to start creating um, some really nice highlights. You can also use an eraser to do that or you can leave them white to begin with. So I'm just adding a little bit of there, a little bit of sparkle. Now if I was going to keep working on this, I would work on this more to to create that the, you know, the feeling like like this one where there is that uh, the liveliness in the eyes. So I hope that this helped you. So we talked about uh, looking for the action line in an animal we talked about looking for those shapes that uh, are building blocks for our drawing. And then we talked about the focal points. So creating high detail and high contrast of light and dark around the area of focus in your drawing. Keep tuned because I will be making a PDF that has much more detail and different um, steps for creating a drawing and uh, please sign up for my newsletter and you will be the first one to get that pdf when i when i write it okay thank you for watching and happy drawing